day after tomorrow. I'll be ready. Honey, is that what you're wearing to do the weather today? Well, it's sunny out and this is a sundress. Works for me. Want to know what works for me on a sunny day? A bikini. You wear a bikini? <laughs> Talking about you, Sue. And I'd love to see you in one. Thanks for nothing, because you had to get my ear pierced. Well, excuse me for not being able to pass as your mother. Why didn't you just lie and say you were 18? I tried, but my magic marker goatee didn't fool anybody. <laughs> my life's over. I think your life's over every 15 seconds. Hello, it's called teen angst. <laughs> When I watch South Park, love it when they kill Kenny. This is all your fault. The reason Mom and Dad didn't let me get my ear pierced is because you told them I only did it for Kayla. Which is true. Since when do we tell Mom and Dad the truth? Oh. Now she's never going to go out with me. I'm going to end up like one of those lonely old guys at the park who plays checkers and smells like sausage. Gee, if this Kayla chick means that much to you, I'll pierce your ear. You do that for me? But that's so nice. Mm. And you never do anything nice for anybody. <laughs> Ever. I know. But this is the first time somebody's asked me to hurt them. <laughs> mm. Your boss said he wanted to see you in a bikini? Oh, yeah, he's definitely coming on to you. I know. It made me feel so creepy. Why don't you just tell the slime ball to back off? What are you doing? He's dropping. Look, I don't want to make a big deal out of this. I mean, I know people think I'm just a dumb jock, but this job makes me feel good about myself and I don't want to lose it. Well, just ignore Gecko. How? Pretend he's dad. <laughs> what if he calls me into his office? Just make sure you're never alone with him. <clears throat> I know. Maybe Gecko would stop bothering you if you went to work in your ugly clothes without any makeup. <laughs> Mars, you know I don't have any ugly clothes. <laughs> and I am cursed with natural beauty. <laughs> okay, everybody's gone. Let's pierce this puppy. <laughs> What's the towel for? So you don't get blood on your shirt. Just give me blood? If I do it right. So you're gonna be pain? If I do it right. Samir's the room spinning. And you rub your ear with an ice cube till it's numb and then shove the needle through. It's all on the wrist. Here goes. Oh yeah. Men are the stronger sex. <laughs> and our last classic teen thriller is The Blair Witch Project. Pretty scary, huh, Ben? I'll say. Some of the worst hair in movie history. <laughs> hey, but the handheld camera, it made it feel like you were right there in the woods with him, didn't it? It made me feel kind of woozy. <laughs> Come on, it was daring, creative, totally original. But where was the funny? I didn't laugh once. <laughs> And that's it for guys on film. Till next time, save a milk dud for me. <laughs> and we're clear. You know, you are this close to being a walking vegetable. Hey, girl, you ready to kick it? Well, I've got my presentation with Randy tomorrow, so I'm going to stay late and work on it. Oh, we can stick around. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Randy's gone for the day. I'll be fine. Okay, later. Okay, bye. Well, somebody looks pretty busy. And I do mean pretty. I thought you had a sales meeting. I cancel it. Looks like it's just you and me. I had a hunch you'd be working late to get ready for our meeting. Late? Wow, it sure is. I should go. I'm going now. Look, I'm a busy guy. And you've got me all to yourself. So be smart. Take advantage of me. You do have ideas, don't you? Of course I have ideas. This is Edna Plunkett, 102. She can make it rain by doing the hula. Why don't we talk about Edna over dinner? I don't think dinner is such a good idea. I do. 
People do business over dinner all the time, Sue. Look, I really don't want to. I'm the boss, and if I want to work over dinner, we work over dinner. Stop pressuring me. I don't like it. Listen. I think you've got a lot of talent. And you could go far in TV. But not without my help. So be smart. Do things my way. And if I don't? You'll be hanging your cute little slicker someplace else. And I don't think either of us wants that. Do we? your boss will fire you? It's not fair. It's also illegal. I ought to go down there right now and give that snake a piece of my mind. <laughs> you can't talk to guys like Gecko. Only one thing scares them. Polly Shore movies. <laughs> lawsuit. There's not going to be a lawsuit. I'm quitting. Oh, you can't just quit. If I tell the station owner about Gecko, he's just going to deny it. It's my word against his. Unless somebody else saw or heard him do something. I heard him say nice buns. <laughs> That was the guy on Let's Talk Hot Dogs. I mean, nobody saw anything, man. The guy's slick. See? I've got no proof. I'll just look like a troublemaker. Sue, so if you don't take Gecko down, you'll just keep harassing people. I just wanted to be the weather girl. Why can't this whole thing just go away? <laughs> Don't move your head too much. There she is. Hey, Kayla. Your earring's really awesome. Don't touch. I have sensitive lobes. You know what else would be really cool? If we went to the movies Friday night? If you got a tattoo to go along with your earring. Are you looped? I am not letting some beefy guy named Rocco stick ink in my skin with a big old needle. Not even for the hottest babe in school. I hate my life. You really think I'm the hottest babe in school? Yeah, I do. But if you can't like me for me, forget it. Cray, wait. Look, I'm just not an earring guy. Who cares about earrings? You do. You said you only date guys who wear them. Not anymore. So you like my honesty? I like that you said I'm hot. <laughs> You're here. I'm glad you're going to do things my way, Sue. You won't be sorry. No, I don't think I will. We're going in three, two. Hi, I'm Sue Blake, and it's time for What's Up With Weather. Today, it's a little stormy. See, there's a lot of high pressure because a big, nasty storm named Randy is coming on strong. What is she doing? Telling it like it is. Randy is threatening to blow away your very own weather girl if she doesn't go out with him. Cut the feed. Go to a public service announcement. Are you crazy? You have ten seconds to get back on the air and take back everything you just said or you're fired. You can't fire me for telling the truth. You've been harassing me. No way did I harass you. And if you say it again, I'll sue you. I'm not scared of you. I'm willing to go to court if that's what it takes to stop you. Why risk a job you love? I will humiliate you in court. I will tell everybody that you came on to me. It's your word against mine. Oh, it won't be just Sue's word against yours. You don't work here anymore. Get out. Ben, call security. Oh, now you know who I am. <laughs> Julie quit because you pressured her to play kissy face with you. That's a lie. No, it isn't. Oh, he hit on you too? I'm sorry I didn't stand up to Randy. I took the easy way out. I quit. I wanted to quit, too, but my family convinced me to fight. After Neil talked to me, I knew I had to fight, too. I'm so glad you came forward. We're going to make sure you never harass anybody again. You toast. Hey, Ben, buddy, chick magnets like us have to stick together. Babes misunderstand everything. Get away from me. It's guys like you who give all us chick magnets a bad name. <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like our ugly storm has turned out to be nothing but hot air. 